another trash day. Debris pile being kicked up up the street. And debris pile from the neighbors now. Those bags. I saw the city come around and leave a uh, note on the door. They're remodeling that house, by the way. It's been going on since July. Uh, I'd like to maybe try to get over there whenever they do an open house. But yeah, they're not going to pick that up because they're in bags. It's either got to be in a yard cart or left out like the debris pile sitting next to it. So, uh, I'm move a branch. There. So, yeah, I'm just going to see if they're even going to pick that up. Uh, I was doing a vlog today. I'm not going anywhere. Just kind of handling stuff around the house. Actually doing a uh, travel insurance claim. I'm trying to see if I can claim my change ticket fee from the flight that I took to Mexico back in, you know, it was for September, but I had to move it up a week, you know, for my wife's surgery. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get reimbursed the $275 change ticket fee. Um, but they're requesting uh, doctors, you know, information and, um, you know, paperwork. That's a form he's going to have to fill out. Well, the problem is the, you know, the, the doctor's in Mexico. And they want it done in 72 hours. Well, that's impossible. That's not going to happen. They say, well, we can probably give you up to 90 days. I'm like, well, yeah, when I go back, you know, everything's in English. I'm going to have to probably translate for them, you know, fill this stuff out, blah, blah, blah. And there's still no guarantee I'm going to get reimbursed, you know. So it's a shot in the dark. I mean, the travel insurance, it's more suited for people that missed their flight or lost their bag or something like that but for medical reasons for your spouse you know it's one of those gray areas that you may or may not get reimbursed for so I'm giving it a shot you know I won't get anything before the year's out maybe January when I get the you know the doctor's information you know for them to fill everything out then maybe I might possibly get reimbursed. I mean, I'm just trying to get the 274. I'm not trying to get the whole ticket. Um, you know, right now, I'm just trying to see if there's any way to recoup that money. I don't like throwing money away. You know, I don't think anybody does, but it's just, you know, especially in the here and now, trying to help, you know, with my wife's cancer situation. I mean, her family's helping. You know, they're doing a lot down there right now. I'm going to have to get back. You know, to help her here in a few weeks for the next surgery. But any money I'm making, I'm just trying to get the bills covered, and you know, any money that I can recoup would be, you know, would be greatly needed. Well, the truck's moving, but I guess he's not done picking stuff up yet. Well, still got a little more to get. I'm also testing out my new. Toy. Actually, I've had it for a while, just haven't really made a video using it, but I'm using a uh, telescope handle. Ah, there. that off with a broom as leaves continue to fall, but uh, yeah, we got a little adjuster here, uh, well, something like that, so yeah, only thing is, not sure if you're getting a shot, so, well, pretty cool, so, yeah, with that. So, yeah, something basic. Again, I you know, buy the cheap Chinese stuff and it's only a few dollars. Hell, it's like you just can't pass that up. It's such a good deal, but you got to wait four to six weeks in some cases for it to arrive. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, it's like the last of the debris we picked up there. Yeah, it looks like they got Mr. Safety Enthusiast there. Stand and watch. I'm curious to see they got a whole new table and chair set up on the front patio. It's being redone, I guess. I forgot to put this house, I don't know. New windows. You can see them. Yeah, new window there, new window there. They walled up a window on the corner. The cabinets up, I guess, in the kitchen. So, yeah, maybe I'll get over there to check it out if they do an open house. If I'm here, who knows? Mm, here comes the truck. We'll see what they get. So they're going to get some of it, maybe. We'll see. I'll record them from in here. I'm sure they don't. They don't watch or want me filming them. So we'll just watch from here. See if they get those bags. My guess would be no. They're going to make the people that put them there take the stuff out and dump it out so they can use their their scooper there to pick them up. As I say, you're going to move those bags for dudes so he can... Uh, get them. Now uh, watch, they're probably going to leave them sitting in front of my house there. And I'm going to wind up having to go drag them over. Because I'm not responsible for them. Next thing you know, I'll start getting a notice from the city. Hey, you got to take this debris out. It's not even mine. So, yeah. Oh, dude, uh, what's going on? Banging up against the side of the truck. I guess they didn't have the hoist high enough or something for the claw to dump its debris. Yeah, of course. There they go. Drag the bags to my side and just leave them there. So I guess it's my responsibility to go drag them back in front of the house next door so they'll take care of it <sighs> thanks guys appreciate your help yep there they go well let me go ahead and do this now our tax dollars ladies and gentlemen and yeah, no one's over there but yeah I leave these bags right here in front of my house. So let me just drag them in front. And that's their responsibility, not mine. Well, good enough. All right, so that's all taken care of. Okay. So, uh, we'll do a, another play around with my telescope. What's happening in the trees? Anything? No. Yeah. That's why I got up on the roof. Looks like I got some debris up there. I'm going to have to try and get off. I see it. I'm even get the shot. Uh, I think I'm getting it. But, yeah, still playing with this thing. So, all right. Yeah, when I, since I'm being nosy, and there's been a lot of, like I said, action going on at the house next door. Um, they might be getting close to wrapping it up. They've been doing a lot of tile work, sawing, cutting, banging, hammering. So, now they got something on the back patio. I think they got a display out there too. So, why not? Uh, so we got a nice table and chair set. Uh, showing off to try to sell, I guess. I mean, that'd be nice. 
you know, I've lived here 20 years. Literally 20 years. Um, this is now November. I bought my house in November of 96. So, yeah, it's right around, right around Thanksgiving. And uh, it's been all rentals, you know. People that have it or have had it, it's gone through a couple owners. I've tried to buy it, but it can never seem to find, you know, find out when it's listed or whatever. And then it was put up for sale back in middle of July, you know. The house was sold for fifty six five, and that's it. That's not, that's like more than half of what my house is worth. So, you know, that hurts my value actually when a house goes that low. But on the positive side, at least what these people are doing, it looks like it's better homes and gardens is coming in, and uh, they're redoing it, redoing everything. I can't see anything. I've got a lot of trees and stuff, but yeah, um, they're coming in and redoing it. They brought a whole bunch of cabinets. Looks like they brought another sink. I mean, they're redoing the whole inside, which is, you know, I love to try to get in there to check it out, but I can't, like, go over there now and record and all of that stuff, and I'd rather just kind of, you know, keep that on the down low for now. But, yeah, I mean, maybe someone will buy that place and will be decent neighbors for once, because for the last 20 years, like I was saying, it's been renters. They don't care. They're loud, obnoxious, rude. I mean, there's been maybe a couple of college kids back, uh, I'd say early to mid-2000s. They were there for a couple of years. They were cool. I mean, for once, you know, they're actually cool neighbors. Everybody else, though, has just been, well, they've been weird. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just, I would just love to have someone decent living next to me. You know, and hopefully, whatever they're doing to that house, you know, maybe it'll be someone that'll move in that will be decent and won't just use it for another rental house. As much money as they're putting in that place, I'm, I would guess that it wouldn't be a good idea to, you know, re-rent it because some, you know, renters are going to probably trash the place anyway, cause more damage. You know, that's typical. Um, at least around here, from what I've seen, my mom and dad used to rent for a uh, few years they it was short-lived because again the damage that was caused people not paying then you have to file eviction notices and yeah I remember the stress that they were going through because they thought it would be good extra money you know my mom was in real estate selling houses but here's that additional income of rent you know rent coming in every month sometimes it'd be slow in sales and that would kind of help things out but you get people that won't pay or trash the place and then you got to spend you know money to fix it and you know, you try to increase the rent, and, you know, it limits your uh, tenants and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, even with the mega shed, you know, I'm dealing with that right now. Though I may may or may not rent it out. I'm not sure after the fiasco I went through, you know, back in May. So, so anyway, yeah, today is just a vlog day. Um, just kind of playing with my telescope, and I don't think I'm going to get out and around. And now with the gas issue that might be coming up here real soon, talk to my parents. They're going ahead and gassing up today as well. Um, yeah, that pipeline, it sounds like there could be a gas shortage here coming up by middle of November. And depending on how long it takes to repair, well, it could run into Thanksgiving. So, man, that could be interesting. We start having gas shortages. I might do, I'll definitely be doing some updates on that. So, yeah, stay tuned. So, I guess in the meantime, I'll just wrap this up and I'm just gonna like chill take it easy today so <sighs> until the next thrilling video adios